The NDP Liberal Prime Minister is not worth the cost of food. As we were reminded by a tragic report by Second Harvest that came out this week showing that they will be, there will be an, another million extra visits to food banks above last year's record-breaking numbers. Wow. This because of the collusion of the NDP Liberals on uh, price fixing, that is the carbon tax. Will the Prime Minister cancel his April 1st 23 percent carbon tax hike on food? The Right Honourable Prime Minister. Speaker, as one of the Conservative leaders' own MPs recognized, there is absolutely no data or proof to link uh, their theory around the price on pollution and, uh, and uh, the price of groceries. But if they actually cared about affordability for Canadians, they would have voted in favour of uh, dental care for our most vulnerable seniors, for uh, young families uh, that can't afford to send their kids to the dentist. That's what we are delivering. They are voting against. They they wouldn't be stalling on the competition reforms, uh, reforms to ensure that we're actually moving forward on greater competition to stabilize grocery prices. The Honourable Leader of the Opposition. Mr. Speaker, after eight years, this NDP Liberal Prime Minister is just not worth the cost of food. It's not just that uh, two million people a month can't afford groceries and are forced to line up at food banks. It's just now that those food banks are running out of food and Canadians are diving into dumpsters. Literally, there's an 8,000-member Facebook group called the Dumpster Diving Network. Shame. How can the Prime Minister look those people in the eyes and raise taxes on their food when they're eating out of garbage cans? Yeah. The Right Honourable Prime Minister. Speaker, we recognize that many Canadians are facing extremely difficult times, which is why we're continuing to step up our supports across the country uh, for food banks, uh, for, uh, for programs, uh, and for supports for vulnerable Canadians. This is something that we have taken seriously and we will continue to. At the same time, Mr. Speaker, we're continuing to move forward on concrete measures to help Canadians, like dental care, like pharma care, like child care. These are things that the Conservative Party continues to vote against uh, in terms of of helping vulnerable Canadians in helping with affordability. He's there to instrumentalize vulnerable Canadians and try and play politics off of them. He's not there to help. Let the Honourable Leader of the Opposition. Mr. Speaker, that's the best answer he can come up with after eight years of record food price increases that has forced people not just to food banks, but to literally jump into dumpsters and bring their phones so that they can network on Facebook to share tips on how to eat out of garbage cans in Canada? Life was not like this before this Prime Minister, and it won't be like this after he's gone. In the meantime, we'll at least have the humanity to cancel his April 1st 23 per cent tax hike. Yeah. Right Honourable Prime Minister. Speaker. Farmers across this country know the impacts of climate change on uh, the food supply in Canada, on the growing and production of food. Uh, these are things uh, that we are fighting against by fighting against climate change and putting more money in the pockets of Canadians right across the country. We will continue to be there uh, with support for food banks. We will continue to be there with support for vulnerable Canadians. Now, the Leader of the Opposition loves to talk about uh, them and try and score political points off of these vulnerable people but he is offering no real solutions for them as we continue to step up and deliver supports for people from coast to coast to coast.